A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Here's Montana to throw. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. They will look to throw. Montana, pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field with his traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. 25 yards that time. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Operating out of the gun, here's Montana. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Montana. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". All right, I know it's something that every team says every season, but they genuinely believe that this is their year, and having him at quarterback is a big part of that. They think he's poised for a huge season and can really be the type of player that brings out the best of each weapon that they have on this offense. Behind that type of performance, their goals are high. They envision a lot of wins and finishing among the league's best on their side of the ball. On second down, this is Harris. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Here's third and six. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. On first down, Montana. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 43, here's second and two. Now a give right side, Curry. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now Montana. And he'll be taken down, but he does 
Titans have first down yardage. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Montana. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. On second down, Montana. Over the middle, complete. That's Washington. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. To throw is Montana. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Steelers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second down and eight. Now it's Roethlisberger. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 of the 24. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Now they fake the jet sweep there and a run instead with Harris. A good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Off the play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end... Oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. The Steelers send out their punter now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, I mean, this is the other one. Guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? 
like Jim Otto used to wear or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Craig on a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. It's a pick up six. Brings up second and four. At the 22-yard line. They go play action with Montana. His throw incomplete. Well, what a way to kick off the year here. Niners and Steelers. And I know the folks back in Northern California are happy to see their quarterback, Brock Purdy, back out there. Charles, what do you see from him in year two? More of what we saw from him in year one, partner, because this young man, he really sees the reins in that first season. And he is excited about expanding his game and pushing the ball downfield even more in year two as a starter with the 49ers. And this one is right through. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Here's Roethlisberger. He completes this into the hands of Miller. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Harris going to get it again on second down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought well, they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield, trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Now a give up the middle to Bettis. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brings up third and four. Here's Roethlisberger. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls get through goal posts. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Craig. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Oh, look at the juke. A second fake, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First and ten for Montana and company. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. From the 25, here's a second and four. Up the middle they go. Craig. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. They'll drop to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. to throw again to the end zone but it's incomplete the Steeler defense locked in forcing an upcoming fourth down and based on my math they've only converted one time thus far in this game so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit third downs they've been a problem for them all game they've got to start becoming solutions so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punt, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They are still in search of their first points of the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. Now Roethlisberger. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Now second and three. Brings up second and three. Roethlisberger. He's got the hook up to Miller. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. That swung out wide to Harris. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. A six-yard pickup. 
They go play action with Roethlisberger. He's got it to Swan complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This will be caught just inside the 10. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now six to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing at the break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium. Houston on the road, taking on Baltimore. And it's the Ravens who have the lead as they play the second quarter. The Ravens trying to start the season right and is looking good so far at home. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see, currently they trail in that ball game. The Titans looking to get off to a hot start and a road win would help them do just that. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Melvin Gordon has a touchdown there. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the style troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. The Steelers send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Play 
Play action. It's Montana. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Now the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Now Montana. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returnable now for Woodson. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. In trouble, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. To throw here, Roethlisberger. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. You might go to them in this game. I like that MVU. Well done. 49 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. Harris fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll try and run with Harris. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Roethlisberger will throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. From a yard out. And the Steelers have taken the lead here this third quarter. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. Comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. 
And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. This is Young on the carry. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man on the out route. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. To the sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On the give, this is Harris. And he's going to be met at about the 43. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Roethlisberger. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Off the play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Oh. 
They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop them. I like the confidence he showed. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. To throw is Montana. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Montana to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They go play action with Montana. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 34-yard line. They got 29 yards that time. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First and ten for Montana and company. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Montana. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. But it looked like it marched to the end zone. Is it a momentary roadblock with that incompletion? No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. He's going to launch it for Washington. And it's complete. In the end zone, touchdown 49ers. A great effort there. 34 yards. And the 49ers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And now out come the Steelers. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Roethlisberger. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. 
They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first run. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Here's Roethlisberger. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. This is caught, and in for the Steelers' touchdown. A great play there. Second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Steelers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Cunningham now to return. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and five at the 26-yard line. Play fake. Now here's Montana. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Just because you got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. They will look to throw. Montana. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Craig. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Second down, eight yards to go. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. This is fourth down. Going to try to throw for it with Montana. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Folks, remember this. 
his first NFL game. A rookie getting playing time here in week one, and he comes through with a giant play there, an interception return for, obviously, his first NFL touchdown. Do you think he dreamed that last night at all? No chance. Not one whatsoever, but he got it done. The try here for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So now the Niners down by 11, a minute six to play. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this. Yep, and he gets them to 1-0. and so the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game. Parker and one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, Parker, the head coach is just telling his team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game.